These guys are so crazy about details, it's absolutely scary. Hello and welcome. I'll do this one a little bit differently. Let me first tell you a little bit about why I started this watch channel in the first place. My goal is to give you honest, independent, well thought out and well informed information on watches. And if possible, with a little bit of a laugh, because you know, watches should be fun. And to me, it all comes down to the same question. Why in hell would you spend thousands of euros on something you absolutely don't need? Well, good watches will give you those answers, whether in technique or design or tradition, and bad watches just don't. And that's how I came to review this watch. And this is one hell of a watch, the Sinu 50. Do I like its looks? Mm, not particularly. It is a bit too flashy for my taste. But do I like what they've been doing with it? Yes, I do. It has a 41 mm case. It is priced around 2000 euros and it is a piece of engineering madness. For example, the case, which is made out of German submarine steel. Say what? Oh yeah, that means they're actually made from the same steel as submarines. And that's because this steel is more anti-magnetic and, well, you wouldn't say, but it's very resistant to salty water. And it actually looks as cool as it sounds, because this steel is just a little bit darker and less shiny than normal steel. And it's even water resistant to 500 meters. And that is a lot more than your skull will be able to handle. The red silicon straps comes at a slight premium and wear supremely comfortable. But it's not the only choice, you can actually order it in steel, in all sorts of different leathers, all sorts of different colors. It's way too much and I'm not going to explain anything of that. What's more important is what gives this watch its own personality, the instrument-like dial. Because that is really what gives Sin its own personality. Sinn is a German watch company founded in 1961 in Frankfurt by Mr. Helmut Sinn, a former instructor for blind flying. His goal was to make timing instruments for the skies, and a couple of his creations even made it into outer space. Mr. Sinn passed away in 2018, but the company is led by Diplom Ingenieur Mr. Lothar Schmidt, who's headed the company since 1994. And that is something to remember. This company is run by engineers, not marketeers. And this Mr. Schmidt is a really remarkable man. I mean, just look at their innovations. In 1959, they introduced a gold watch as hard as steel and their remarkable AR dehumidifying technology. In 1999, they founded their own case manufacturing, and in 2003, they introduced the Tegument hardening technology. And in 2005, they started using their German submarine steel. This list just goes on and on and on. They really are bringing watch engineering to another level, and that really shows in the products, especially in this U50. Now, one detail I passionately love is that beautifully detailed bezel in which all the madness comes together. It's beautifully detailed and yet it is made of that incredibly cool looking submarine steel. They even hardened it with a technology called Tegument, which is not a coating, it really hardens the surface of the material. It also perfectly fits that incredibly cool looking matte instrument like black dial with huge super dominova indices that's so bright you could actually kill a vampire with it it wears very comfortable and that's not only due to its size you know it doesn't really feel like a 41 millimeter so i did some measuring and like to look it comes down to 46 47 millimeters now that's very decent for a 500 millimeter dive watch and inside takes a very reliable movement, the Solita SW301. And that brings me to another chapter 
of Sin Madness. You know, they could have chosen an off-the-shelf movement, just put it in and get on with it. But they didn't. They receive a movement which is partially mounted. The watchmaker then finished the job as well as doing the quality checks. Each and every watch is built by one watchmaker, so they don't have an assembly line. Every movement is regulated and oiled with their own special oil. Now that is the sort of detail that turns me on. And it actually brings me to the question, more important than the stability of a democracy. Is this watch cock or is it cool? Wait, 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 what, what was that? I suppose the machine is trying to tell us the watch is neither cocky nor very cool. Then what is it? The Sin U50 is a very practical, very reliable and very sturdy watch. And no, it will do absolutely nothing for you to impress the girls. But honestly, if you are going to wear a watch to impress the girls, you will actually get what you deserve. Which is not something made out of human flesh, but made out of plastic. Instead, it will impress that other very peculiar species, watch lovers. Because this Sin U50 is absolutely a unique piece of watchmaking. And these guys are so crazy about details, it's absolutely scary. Now that is the sort of fright attack that I crave for, period. Are you as crazy about watches as these guys? Then please follow my channel because I'm gonna look for all the crazy stuff out there. Please stay tuned, like, subscribe, leave your comments and feel free to ask what you would like to see. Thank you and see you soon.